UVM staff is pointing fingers at upper administration as 27 programs at the school are on the verge of being cut. Good evening and we thank you for starting off your work week with us. I'm Lauren Maloney. A group of faculty members went off on administrative leaders today claiming financial reports show the school is fabricating the structural deficit that led to such cuts. Local 22's Devin Bates joins us live now from the newsroom with more on this. Devin? Yeah, Lauren, the administration at UVM is planning to cut 12 majors, 11 minors, and four master's programs, as well as terminate the departments of geology, religion, and classics. Now, some faculty members are arguing that the current financial outlook shouldn't require those steps to be taken. These cuts to liberal arts programs and academic departments in the College of Arts and Sciences are simply not justified, given the low cost of these programs. To put it simply, this is a money and power grab by the administration, and UVM is in outstanding financial shape. Moody's Investor Service has given the University of Vermont a AA3 bond rating with a stable outlook, which has UVM Professor Megan Emery and the group UVM United Against the Cuts wondering why so many majors are on the chopping block. She says it would only save $600,000. These most recent cuts are just the latest in a long-term trend of increasing the percent of compensation that goes to administration and services and decreases the percent devoted to instruction and research. I see an organization that is healthy and thriving. It has cash in the bank and is adding to that stockpile every year from operations. In response, UVM Provost Patty Prelock said these tough decisions are about more than just budgets, audits, and financial reports. They're about work that needs to be done to ensure future success. We do have ongoing structural challenges in some areas of the university. If these occur every year and we fail to do something to address them, um, we will then be trapped managing these structural challenges year over year. UVM United Against the Cuts also argues there are millions of dollars in rainy day funds, reserves, and executive compensation that can be redirected in order to save the College of Arts and Sciences. But the administration says otherwise. I wish the solutions were as simple as the faculty are suggesting in their press release. Um, we wish there were indeed funds that the university could access um, to address all of our budget challenges. But every fund that they cite is there for a specific purpose and cannot necessarily be redirected for other purposes. UVM United Against the Cuts is calling on the administration to halt program cuts pending a full public examination of the university's finances. They're also calling on the legislature to insist that any emergency funding for UVM come with the requirements to reduce administrative compensation. Live in the newsroom tonight, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.